Hey guys, we had a few questions about applying our Alpha Flex paint onto canvas. Now this will work for canvas shoes, it'll work for canvas bags, any type of canvas. Denim, this will work for denim. Cotton, even synthetic based fabric, this, this technique will work fine. I'm taping off the sole so we don't get any paint on that with our sole tape. We designed this extra flexible tape with adhesive on the back side that will not leave residue when you pull the tape off. That's important. If you're using a tape that's leaving residue, when you go to paint the soles, you're gonna have these clumps of adhesive residue, and that is gonna compromise the bond of your paint to the rubber sole. We also designed this in a way, when you paint and you paint up to the edge of this, once you lift the tape, what we want is a really, really crisp edge. I've used tapes in the past where you paint up to the edge of it and then it dries. And when you go to pull it up, it, it tears the edge of that paint. It's not what we're after. We want a really sharp, clean, clean and crisp line for our designs. If it's an older shoe and it's dirty, you got to clean it. Clean it with some leather and textile cleaner. Use one of our sole scuffer scrubbers and give it a nice clean and let it dry overnight. We never want to put paint or any product on top of a wet surface, be it leather or canvas. This is a new shoe, it's clean. First things first, I'm gonna apply a coat of our water-based primer base coat. This is gonna seal off that canvas. What's gonna happen, the difference between canvas and leather, leather has a sealed surface. So any kind of paintwork we do is gonna sit on top of the surface, which is what we want. This, if you're using some of our Alpha Flex markers, if you're running our Alpha Flex really, really thin, it's gonna absorb into that. What this is gonna do, it's gonna seal that. And that's gonna give us a good surface to paint on. There's gonna be a tendency to put it on really, really thick. You don't wanna do that. I'm using one of our Alpha 6 streakers, big wide brush. We're gonna give it a few coats. We're trying to fill up those pores. Now this is water-based primer, so it's going to dry pretty quick. Now that's only one coat. There's still the texture from the canvas under it. If that's something you wanna keep, this is the only coat you'll need. If you wanna make it smoother, the more coats you put on, the smoother it's going to be. But again, you don't wanna to try to do it all in one coat. You wanna build this up, dries really quick. What we're trying to do is give ourselves a good foundation. So I'm gonna let this dry, maybe for an hour, and then we're gonna come back and do another coat. So I applied a little bit more. I'm gonna apply another coat. You can see here where it's absorbed into that canvas. But here, where there's a little bit more, it's starting to pull up, it's starting to build up. We don't want brush strokes, so we want to put it on nice and smooth, cross hatching. If our foundation is bumpy, weak, glossy, has silicones on it, no matter what we do on top of that, it's not going to stick. We're looking for professional results that'll look good for a long time. This is not hobbyist paint. This is professional stuff. So it takes a little bit of, of process to get a really, really strong bond. But once you get that bond, you can beat the heck out of your stuff without risking the paint cracking off, flaking. Okay, I've got a few more coats on, but you can see that we have an opaque surface. Some of us like this gritty texture that happens. And what that is, is it's still a little bumpy from the texture of the canvas. But another thing you can do, this primer is bulletproof. What I like to do when I'm looking for something smooth is I take one of our scuffers. What I'm doing is just sanding off those high spots. Now we've got a good foundation already. This stuff is embedded into that canvas. So we don't have to worry about this flaking off. You can see how tough this stuff is. This is pretty aggressive. That is coming out pretty, pretty smooth. When it's smooth like this, 
we're doing two things. We're giving it some tooth, but we're also taking off those high spots. Next thing we need to do, we're gonna use some of our leather and textile cleaner. I'm gonna grab one of our sole scuffers. And we're probably not gonna see a bunch of dirt come off because we've sanded a lot of that, anything that's on there. But like I said before, we wanna make sure that we are not leaving behind any grit. Our Alpha Flex has some flex in it just as it is. It's a flexible water-based paint that works on when the, when the surface is prepped correctly, is really flexible and will adhere for a long time. We all know that this area right here that gets a lot of use, especially if they're gonna be daily shoes. This gets a lot of flexing and bending. Just for safety, I always put some of our flexible additive into our paint. It's just in case. I don't know how tough people are gonna be on their shoes. So I'm taking some of our Alpha Flex Alpha Green. This is straight out of the bottle so far. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of our flexible additive. Now you can add up to 50% of flexible additive to our paint without compromising the color, the adhesive properties. I wouldn't recommend putting in that much, not because you, not because it'll change anything, but there's no, there's no reason. I add about 25% and I'm not being real careful about measuring. I just make sure that I get some in there. It comes out of the can white, but it will blend with the Alpha Flex and it'll dry clear. There's a stainless steel saucer in there that you can shake up. Very, very important. Shake that up, but you can also take the top off and mix the heck out of it with a popsicle stick. Let's just make sure that there's no settled pigment. Just make sure it's mixed. You're taking your time. These are expensive, time-consuming projects. Let's take our time and do it right. Okay, we've got that mixed. Now, I'm not gonna get super detailed with this design, if you wanna call it. I just wanna give you guys an idea of how smooth this can be after it's sanded, scuffed, using our sole scuffer. That's what we recommend. It's not like sandpaper. Sandpaper, you're gonna get a whole bunch of little, a lot of grit. The grit on our sole scuffers is adhered with some really strong glue to a flexible neoprene core. So this isn't reduced. I'm just putting a light, light coat on. This is still really, really great coverage. I'm just going soft. We're gonna remove any brush strokes. The paint flows really well. If you wanna do a few thin coats, you can do that. Use some of our water-based reducer. As long as the paint, the first coat of paint is drier than the paint you're going to put on next, the second coat will slide over that without grabbing. If that first coat is too wet, it's going to stick and we want it to slide. But you can see two thin coats and we have positive 100% coverage. You can see over here, I just did a regular coat and that still covered great with just one coat. Let's see if we can get some of this texture to show. So we know we're smooth in here because we did a lot of sanding. But up here on the tongue, we didn't do any sanding. And let's see, if we do thin coats, we should be able to see that texture through. It's not quite as visible as the texture here, the natural texture, but you can still see there's a little bit of modeling there. If that's what you're after, don't sand it out. It could be canvas. Uh, I think they call this duck canvas. It's really tough canvas. It could be denim. It doesn't matter if it's a shoe or a bag or a bracelet. What we're really trying to focus on and really trying to attack here is a porous surface. First of all, we want a foundation that bonds to that porous surface, then that foundation being our primer, 
Then that foundation needs some scuff to create a little bit of tooth. Then we're gonna apply our Alpha Flex. Once this dries, we can start going over it with detail with other Alpha Flex without sanding it. Then you can go into the detail, it'll be strong because we have a really, really strong foundation. This will last for many, many years of hard abuse, kicking footballs, rugby, wearing them around in the weather here in Detroit. If you guys have questions, feel free to email me at alpha, James alpha at gmail.com. And I would be ha more than happy to make a video if you guys want a video or to answer direct questions. Really appreciate your patronage.